Over the years, thousands of Americans have been brutally killed by those who illegally entered our country, and thousands more lives will be lost if we don't act right now. President Donald Trump addressing the nation Wednesday night for the very first time inside the Oval Office, making his case to the American people about why the government is shut down. Preaching fear, the more you get people to be frightened, you magnify the situation into a crisis, which it's not. You create a sense of national emergency, a threat to national security, and he's trying to get people to buy into that, even though these good fact checkers are out there are showing that basically he's giving a lot of misleading information. JSU TV political analyst Dr. Steve Rosman says the shutdown could go on for a while. While federal workers are not getting paid, he says Republicans in Congress will also suffer. Uh, I think Republicans are in an awkward situation, but the, you see, the Republicans in Congress are worried about going against Trump because they're worried about their future. As long as Trump has a strong base and most Republicans support him, it's very difficult for the, the, the people in Congress, Republicans in Congress, to turn against him. Meanwhile, federal workers in important positions like TSA officers could continue to call out sick, leaving weaker security at the nation's busiest airports. I'm in the uh, Atlanta airport. And uh, it's uh, one of my favorites, believe it or not. It's the busiest airport in the world. This place is packed. Look at the, look at the people. Scott Thomas, a Jackson Metro resident, is traveling from Jackson to Salt Lake City. He says despite crowds, he experienced no problems. Uh, hey, Eric, airport security is incredible here. It's everywhere and it's 24 7. Never felt safer anywhere. How much more American blood must we shed before Congress does its job? Talks with top party leaders continue, hoping to come to a compromise on border security and a swift end to the government shutdown. Eric Walker, JSU-TV.